Hasta la calle, hasta allá, hasta la puta calle cayendo. Tantilla para Tania, hasta la calaba, hasta la huevo, a la malinendo. Weón. What's up, everybody? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Welcome back to a number, uh, a number of two. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gamer to Gainer videos. All right, today is focus going to be arms. First off, I want to shout out to G Fuel. All right, get that G Fuel. We got cans now. They come limited, so once they come available, you have to grab them because they sell out fast, all right? Hopefully we'll get these in stores and, you know, around more and you guys can grab them. Uh, 300 milligrams, sugar-free. 300 milligrams of caffeine, sugar-free. And I know a lot of you ask about like G Fuel pre-workout. The powder formula, not so much, but this has been really good. So I'm liking this. And it's like, it's not even like a crazy stem thing where I lose a pump, I still have a pump. So I'm not saying this is like a, oh yeah, this is made for pre-workout, it's not. It's just an energy drink. It's supposed to like take over Red Bull, Monster, stuff like that. But that being said, uh, let's get into the workout. We're training arms and the main focus is, do you have to really like train arms to get big arms? And I'm gonna tell you the truth today. Find out. Just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. So today, we're going to go back and forth on triceps and biceps. And uh, I like to start out with cables just because I get a little bit more of a blood flow engagement when it comes to cables over dumbbells just to start out. Um, dumbbells is a little bit, going into dumbbells cold feels a little weird to me. I don't feel as engaged into the movement and uh, that's why I like to start with cable movements first. Ooh, I need some water. I think I had a lot of caffeine today. Oh my God. The next video guys will be about like, you know, dieting supplements. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, like this video already. Just do it just now. Just, just, just go ahead. <laughs> just do it now. All right? Because that's just what you should do. Got a party tonight. Been hanging around with the FaZe guys for like the last three days. I don't know if you guys know about FaZe Clan. They're pretty, uh, pretty wild. But cool, chill people. So it's FaZe Rugs birthday tonight. And uh, dang, sensor and attach is not phase anymore. They're on the New York team now. They won't, well, they wouldn't be pulled up anyways because they're in New York. So, that being said, I want to go back to New York. You trying to go back to New York? <laughs> All right, so first set was about 15 to 20. The next two sets are from 10 to 15 reps. Uh, I think I did like 12 or 13. I'll probably do another set of 12. And uh, we're going to stick right there and just, to, uh, just to warm up the biceps. So, like I was saying before, what does it take to really get big arms? And the main thing is, you know, how you're built, you know, what's your, how your body adapts, you know, when you eat, where does it go first? You know, how do you train? And I know people who don't train, like me specifically, I honestly don't do this much. I don't train arms. Like, I have like 19 and a half. No, not, yeah, some, some good 19 and a half inch arms. And, you know, I hate, like, I hate, I hate saying this, like, for situations, but genetics, like, plays a role into how big your arms can get, all right? And it doesn't matter how much you can eat. It don't matter how much gear or whatever you take. Some people just can't have big, dumb arms. I don't want big, dumb arms. I think my arms are fine enough as it is. I just try to keep them defined and, uh, you know, a little detailed. But there's just, sometimes there's just nothing much you can do but make them look better. You can still make them look better as far as growth. That is going to take a lot, a lot of testing out. You know, you got to find out, you know, should you train? A lot of people don't know. Should I train arms more or should I train arms less? And a lot of the compound movements and other movements that you do, pull-ups, uh, dips, you know, and things, and you do them very heavy, already hit those 
those biceps and triceps. And you might be, a lot of times, honestly, you might be overtraining. You might be overtraining. So we got our sets over there done. Do about 20 reps over here, warm up. So if you can't find balance in how much you train arms and you don't see growth, you know, there's your reason. Star Wars yet? Hey, if you beat Star Wars already, kudos to you. Kudos. I still gotta beat Gears of War. I just don't feel like playing my Xbox. You know what I'm gonna play now? Days Gone. Huh? You said Days Gone? No, I'm actually gonna go back to uh, Sekiro. I'm gonna go back to Sekiro and play that. One more set in. So I can say, if you really want to develop, you know, triceps, let's talk about triceps first. I'll give you some things that I do when I focus on triceps. This is a big uh, tip for you guys. Eat the most on the days you want to grow, the, like that muscle. Like if you, if you train, you know, something really hard, you'll eat, eat to match. You know, you can't train something really hard and then go home and you don't eat for a couple hours or so, and then like you have to match what's going on and what you want to, you know, uh, make happen. If you want to get bigger, you got to eat to get bigger, right? So you got to match that same thing when it comes to um, your training. You know, match the intensity of the training with your food uh, later on throughout that day. So what I like to do always, my grip is already kind of close when I bench, and I think this has been a big mass builder for me. With my elbows tucked in and me pressing. Uh, for bench, so we're gonna do some of this today, and I'll go pretty heavy on these. This is probably like one of the main tricep exercises where I can go heavy on, you know, maybe like 315. Uh, not too crazy. Reps like you know six to eight reps. really good for putting on some mats for triceps. Don't get too carried away with these though because your elbows will start getting tender. So like I said, we'll do about four sets of eight, six to eight reps. Six being the lowest, eight being the highest. And do stop, do not, do not go like dumb close like this trying to do these, you know, out here is right, just fine. Like, like right, literally kind of like slightly in from your shoulders. Why is it kind of hard? Like, cause I ain't got no music in my ears. It's crazy how music changed the game for you when it comes to lifting. Big from Young Ma. That shit go hard.
That's what we're doing. Right now it's hammer curls. Hammer curls, I feel like, are a great mass builder. You can have heavy weights when it comes to curling. Usually you don't want to have heavy weights when it comes to curling. You'll still want to keep your, your form and everything. And uh, like people say cheat curls or whatever. When I cheat curl, I'm like bullshitting. It's like for comedy reasons. Or like, because I'm going super extra. But hammer curls are great. You know, I like to come in. Usually when I'm out like this, I don't feel it as much until I turn that elbow in and come, I mean, I turn that elbow out and then like kind of like squeeze the bicep into my body. So I feel a better contraction doing that. So uh, hammer curls, we got the close grip bench for tricep mass and we got the ha hammer curls for bicep mass. And this is like, these are like my main bread and butter when it comes to building the muscle. Um, actually, the, the workout will continue, but I have one more like bread and butter especially for the triceps uh, when it comes to growth that I like live by. I do every exercise. Cookies and cream. That's that big trip. Ah. 16 reps, eight reps each arm. Woo! Only tuck your chain and don't spark enough. Look at look at this. You going from right here to right there. Which one you want? Where you want? Where you want it? Where you want it? Look at his body shake. Why you shaking? So long? Why, why you shaking, bro? Hey, hey, hey! Why you shaking, bro? Why you shaking? Let's go. I going for a feeling. I ain't going for the weight. Feeling. I ain't going for the weight. Emotional. That's actually too much. It's actually too much. So we're gonna go back down. The one dirty. The one dirty. Oh. What's your, what's your, what was that thing wrong? What you trying so, to So when you're all the way back, like right here, like you're taking away from the actual tricep, like that short, that shoe, uh, that shoe horse. So that's why I try to stay close and like push down like this rather than an extension. Cause I get a lot of elbow issues when I do it like this, so I keep it in. Almost like I'm doing like a close grip bench press. You know what I did yesterday? It felt really yeah. good. I, I on these right here? Not this, but like on the, on the regular thing. Mm -hmm. I was pushing out. Pushing like out this. that way, so an extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Were yeah. well, you already pumped up when you did it? Yeah. Cause I can, let me see that. Because it's easier when you're pushing underneath it. When you're pushing out, you can have this as well. Yeah. Right? Four or five. I like that. I randomly were like just fucking around. Yeah, that does feel good. So this is my bread and butter right here. The V bar push downs right here. You can go heavy. You can go light. You can be intense with it, and you can still keep your form, stay in control, and just get like a crazy pump. And you know, we even build strength as well. Um, like I said, I like to be close to it when I do it. And I'm like pushing down, just pushing down and squeezing. The more I go down, squeeze, 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 boom. And uh, damn, that shit right there actually, that feels good. My triceps are pretty, pretty beefy, feeling pretty beefy. Moving on from this, the next thing when it comes to big triceps, right here, you can do it anywhere. Chin ups, being able to do some simple chin ups. This is something you can do at home. Try so doing like five sets of 10, 10 reps, or you know, four or four, four sets of 10, or pretty much like max out reps. 
um, every, every time when it comes to pull-ups or chin-ups and see how much development you make in your arms. Pull-ups are very simple, basic body weight movement, all you can do anywhere. And I, I think a lot of people really don't because there's really no resistance. A lot of body, a lot of people don't do enough body weight stuff because especially if you're a, like a bodybuilder or something, you want some type of weighted resistance to understand how much weight you're pushing, you know, mentally, so it kind of helps. But these body weight movements are very beneficial for from basic to the most advanced lifter that I feel like all of you should continue to do. And they do build muscle, so. workout I did the push in the gym no I did a full workout where like I had the board like I did the yo curls I did the chest. Fuck that. get a get the thing the deadlift shit where you back up on the Jeep you back the Jeep up on it you can like deadlift the Jeep oh, there's no fucking way <laughs> so those are a few you know tips for you guys to help build muscles you probably heard it before this is a good reminder for you guys so, you know, throw it back in the routine, do things kind of like how I do originally. Um, after what I just did, I would go back to the first two things that I did and I would do that over, you know, for, and just burn out for like, I would just try to flush everything into my arms for like the last two sets, triceps, biceps, A1, A2, which is a super set. So I would do like the preacher curls, you know, just 20 reps, bang those out, go back to the tricep extensions, bang those out, 20 reps, back and forth for like three or four sets. And, uh, you know, you'll have a crazy pump. And once again, make sure that you stay eating. You know, that was, that was like one of the main things for me back then. Like I made sure I ate the most on whatever I wanted to develop that day. If I was training chest, want to get stronger, blah, 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 I ate the most that day. Want the bigger legs, I ate the most that day. And like, it's a, it's a tough game. Like, there's a lot of times I don't want to eat, a lot. Like, I usually do more of an intermittent fasting or a 5-2 kind of, hell, intermittent fasting slash 5-2 kind of eating. You know, I don't, I, there's days where I barely eat 800 cows and there are days I eat like three, 4K, you know? So it's a balance in between the whole week. I don't count macros. I do for clients and stuff, but for myself, I know, like, I don't need to do that because I already kind of know where I'm at, but people sometimes need calculations, which is good for you. So if you want personal training or online training, email me at Teron, T-E-R-R-O-N 2311 at gmail.com. Make sure you hit that up. If you need some you know, guidance or whatever, you know, go over pricing and all that. Um, yes, I have to say pricing because a lot of people come and just ask about a lot of free stuff that I already have videos for. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed this arm workout. Uh, wasn't much of crazy. It's just a little bit of guidance for you guys. And uh, appreciate you. Catch me in my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. I'm out. You at all? Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business.